a Porsche, that diamond rings a Porsche. The elephant in the room is that you come, you are, you, you come from a very uh, uh, illustrious family, right? With 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 someone at the head of the family that doesn't allow the relatives of that family to live normal lifestyles. Right. Is that where the popular stranger name comes from? Yeah, pretty much. Because ever since my last, you know, project certified, mm -hmm. everywhere. Two thousand nine release. Correct? Right. The first mixtape we dropped, certified in 2009 we uh everywhere i've been going people notice me or stop me and they you know they feel they know me but i feel they really didn't get the real me on that project you know no i felt the response we got from the freshman release i felt was a great response we got over you know 150,000 downloads so i can't i can't set anywhere i go i can't separate myself from that you know that title so it is what it is I well you know what's funny uh, um, I, I'm gonna say something I, um, Q and I actually had the liberty to interview uh, Memphis Bleak right. and we had the interview we had, we had an interview with young Chris and and, and it was funny how they received it because young Chris actually told me that's part of my story like if I if I'm if I'm five years old and, I, and I'm I mean seven eight years old and I'm riding a bike and, and I crack my hand and I get stitches that's you know what I mean that's there forever that happened I can't right. remove right. that Definitely. the point is to move forward from there you know, I'm not gonna ignore it. Like it yeah. doesn't exist. And that's what, with the first project, that's you know, that's what I I felt I waste too much energy on. You know, trying to fight that and trying to uh -huh. stop people from bringing that up. So I wasted a lot of en energy on that instead of you know promoting the music. With this one, it's just it is what it is. Like like you were saying. So I just embrace it. It's like a challenge now. So I, I just take it on head on. I did hear the music. Uh, the music for what it is worth. Has 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 grown a lot since 2009. Right. Um, am I the only one that noticed that progression, or is that something that you and your camp feel like? Yeah, yeah. I feel you know I got better with my craft. That's I I feel I should, and if I'm not, I shouldn't be doing that at all. You know, every day I I, I try to perfect my craft. I'm working at my craft. I write. So this you know the sophomore project should have been better than uh, the first. Well, how old one. are you now? I'm 24. And you began. You say at what age? What rapping? Mm -hmm. Around eight. Around eight. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Now. I mean, I started rap. <laughs> around eight Damn, too. You, you was rapping <laughs> when I was talking. Right. <laughs> eight years old. You started your craft. That, yeah, that, yeah. That, that That's something that needs to be noted, cause not uh, uh, most young men and women that want to do this as a profession don't start that early. Right. Now, did you start with more? Was it like your your? I don't want to say basic. Basic is like a wrong word. But um, were they your cliche like raps, like the rhyming words, or were you more like spoken word? Did you like? I first started off, you know, as poetry. As a kid, I was, you know, I was kind of shy. So when, you know, I just had a book. You know, I used to write whatever I felt at the time, and I used to keep it in until I moved to Jersey and met my um, producer Jada. He ch and then we, you know, we had a mutual love for music, and he used to perform at all the uh, sh talent shows from our schools and all that. And that's, you know, how we kind of linked up. And I sh told him we rap, and then, you know, it been on it for me. Uh. From what I'm getting from from the conversations is that this this route that you're traveling to get to that next level is not as easy as maybe some may perceive. Right. Um, the criticism you received in your first project in comparison to this one. Has been uh, very different. Right. Um, the reception you got from publications, Goodfellow Media being one. Obviously, we didn't have you here in 2008, but you're here in 2012. Right. Um, um, Double XL picking up your your your, um, your project and featuring uh, the source. What would you say is a testament to that? Is it the music or is it everything that uh, that's around it? Yeah, I believe it's the music. You know, that's all I asked ever since you know 2009. Just give the music a shot, without just forget every other thing you know the big elephant in the room and you know the gimmick every other thing but just give the music a shot and that's all i ask and ever since people you know been giving the music a shot it's we can get a good response decoy really been most niggas hold your head tight real close to the river then you play your cards got that from a dope dealer <laughs> see when you hide as the sun haters throw you shade so just sort of boot a plate tell them blow the fade tell me what is there to